everyone my name is Abhishek Chen and in today's video I'm just gonna explain how can you use a tar file module of Python which actually help us to manipulate the tar file when I say manipulate the tar file it means we can create the tar file with the Python programs we can extract that and we can just do any kind of manipulation which we want to do with the tar file so if you are not aware of what the tar file is I'm just gonna explain very briefly tar file was originally created uh, to just store you know the collection of files in the directory on tape and that was in early days of computer when the computer doesn't have their own file system but nowadays tar file is actually being used to publish or to share the open source software so basically we are just using a tar file to just create the packages of our software which is very heavily used nowadays right so let's jump into the demo part and see how we can create the tar file by using the python module which is known as tar file so i'm just gonna switch over to my pycharm and you can use any ideally uh, this tar file module you don't have to explicitly install it because this tar file is the part of a standard python installation package so without any further ado, let's jump into the coding part. So the very first thing which you have to do is you have to import, uh, you know, your tar file module. Then, so the very first thing which we're going to do with the help of this tar file module, we're going to just create a tar file with name tutorial one dot tar because dot tar is the extension for the tar file which is basically a tape archive file okay so let me just give the location uh, to provide the location you can give any location where you want to store it but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import another module of Python which is pathlib and import path and this I'm gonna use to have the current working directory wherever my project is uh, it will just pick that location and I want to join this with let me just create a tutorial dot one dot tar. Okay. So to create a since I am on Windows, so it expects you know the complete path. So I'm just gonna give this and let me just rename this file. Let's go file to file name and let me just print so that we can see where this can be created okay so i have this file now now just to create this the only thing which i have to do is just open and i have to provide this file name since we want to create it so i'm just gonna open this in a write mode and let me just save this underscore object okay and then i can I have to close this okay so if I just run this uh, so it just gave me in D drive this is the folder name then this is project tar file demo and tutorial one dot tar let me just go there I'm there and now I have this tutorial one let me just delete this let me just run this one more time now we have this tutorial one. So if I just open this, it's unknown because it doesn't have anything, you know. So now let me add some files to it because tar file is basically to combine multiple files in the directories and the folder into the one file that can be uploaded to the any source version controller or any cloud storage, right? So tar file dot, there's a function name add, and I can just give the name of uh, my file so let me just have file underscore to add to tar and i'm just gonna pick you can just pick any file which you want to add into this tar so let me just have a mm, sample dot json okay so i have to create a sample dot json over here right so 
Let me just create a file. JSON. save it okay and then i have to just give this file here and let me save it let me run this one more time oops uh i don't have to use the star file basically i have to use this object so let's just correct this save it okay uh, let me just check Okay, now I can see this. I have this file inside. Okay, sample.json. Okay, now if I want to add something else, let me just copy these two lines one more time. And rather than having a JSON, I can have XML. Okay, uh, and then I have to create this XML file. XML. Let me just save it and let me just delete this first and rerun this code and let me just come here. Now I, have, I should be having two things. Okay, sample.json, sample.xml, <coughs> that's good. And the other thing which we can do with this, uh, we can always verify this tutorial one, which is file name, whether this is the correct tar file or not. Uh, so do that in the tar file we have is tar file function. I can pass this name. After closing it, I can just run it and I can just print it. And it is going to give me the boolean value whether it's true or false. If it is star file, then it is going to print true. Otherwise, it is going to be false. It's true. <coughs> and there are many uh, functions, you know, within the star file module, uh, which we're going to see in a next section, where we're going to just uh, see how we can extract the various files. And uh, we're just going to see some more advanced feature where we're going to add, you know, some folders and some other files as well. And then we're just going to do it. And after that, we're just going to see there is a JFrog artifactory or we can just, you know, see any kind of, uh, you know, the source version controller tool, which actually provide us, you know, the tar file as a compressed version, which we call it as a tar.gz that we also gonna see because that is something which you're gonna use in real time more often. <clears throat> so that's it from my side for this particular video. If you have any comment or any feedback, please feel free to put that in a comment section. And if you want me to cover some more advanced feature around this Starfall module, please do that. Please put that as a comment in the comment section and I would love to create that video for you so that it would be helpful for you. So thanks for watching this and stay healthy and keep learning on NFTs.